TeamCity now has bundled support for .NET Core. Simply paste in a repository URL just like any other project, scroll down, click the Proceed button, and TeamCity will auto-detect any .NET Core projects in your repository. Simply check the box for whatever you would like TeamCity to run as a part of your build. For example, we can run the .NET build command as a part of the .NET CLI. Use that, and then click the Run button to build your .NET Core app. We can also run tests for our .NET Core project. Simply edit the configuration, come to the build steps, and you can add your own build step if you'd like. Specify the .NET CLI or .NET command, pick the subcommand, in this case test, and then we can pick the project. In this case, I'll drill in and just pick my unit test. And then if you'd like to set any additional parameters, you can do that with the help of TeamCity. For example, TeamCity detects the framework, and it also detects your build configurations, for example, debug and release here, so you don't have to remember these values. As always, you can add code coverage with .cover. And now when I run the build, I'll get status as my tests execute on the fly, and then when complete, I'll have a nice summary. And if I want more details about the tests, I can use the standard test tab. And for general build log information, I have the same hierarchical view I'm used to, and so I can drill into each of the .NET commands that I execute and take a look at the output. For example, here is the build, and here is the testing. Behind the scenes, you will need to install the .NET CLI on your build agents. Check out the .NET install docs for how you can easily install the .NET CLI into your CI environment. TeamCity will look in your path to find the .NET CLI, or you can use this .NET underscore home environment variable. Once installed, to confirm that TeamCity has found the .NET CLI, come over and look for a .NET CLI configuration parameter.